Hey, what's up, big John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of Tokyo Ghoul Re Chapter 60. If you'd like to read this chapter with me, you can click on the card right here or follow the link in the description below, and we can watch or read this chapter together at the same exact time by following the page overlay I have right here in the top corner and pretend like we're reading this chapter together. With all that being said, it's been a minute since we got a Tokyo Ghoul read chapter, especially with that cliffhanger at the end of the year. It was just insane, and the wait for this chapter has been even crazier. So I am just super excited to be reading this chapter. I hope you guys are excited as well. If so, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously, and I truly appreciate it. But now, Without any further ado, um, let's get right into the chapter. As you can see, I'm on page one here. I hope you guys are on page one as well. And we're getting right into it. This chapter is called Threads of Blood. I don't know what that is symbolizing, but it does not sound good. <laughs> so here we go. Um, it starts off with some people walking and then we're in interrogation room 15. Why? Why am I here? They've, ca they've captured her. They've captured her editor. But where is our mysterious author herself? I wonder how they're getting on with the proofreading. So apparently, in the last chapter, right, we saw Furuta and Sasaki Kaneki, whatever you want to call him, uh, they asked for Tatsuki Sen, which is Eto. Um, and I think this is the guy that they asked here, the actual editor, and now they have him in an interrogation room because they're trying to find out where Tatsuki Sen is, aka Eto. To find out like what's going on with that. But anyways, page two. Shout out to Manga Stream for the translation as always. They're amazing providing this for us. But nevertheless, page four, we're getting right into it. And it, yo, just look at Kaneki's face. Look at that stale face, dude. That is a poker face. Mr. Shiono. Shall we begin? Ah, uh, yes. Shunji Shiono. Age 36 years. Single. An editor in Shioshia's literature editing department. Specifically, Tatsuki Sen as assigned editor. All this information is correct, is it not? Yes. All right, so they did indeed capture the editor that we saw, like, answer them at the end of the last chapter. What is Miss Tatsuki's real name? Ah, well, Miss Tatsuki has decided to not make her real name public, so... Mr. Shiono, forgive me for being blunt, but do you understand the situation you are in? I am not... Okay. I'm reading way too fast. Okay, so clearly, this guy apparently knows that Tatsuki Sen is not a real name, but I wonder if he knows that Eto's real name is Eto. I am not as some fan of Miss Tatsuki's attempting to weasel her personal information out of you. It's funny because he used to be a fan of her, so it's kind of ironic. Nevertheless, let's not digress. I do enjoy her works, but that is beside the point. Oh, look, he said it. He's like, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a little bit of a fan, let's be honest. <laughs> Presently, Miss Tatsuki is suspected of being a ghoul. If it turns out that she really is a ghoul, and if we find out that you happen to know of this, if you fail to comply with our investigation, I fear your actions could well be described as harboring or concealing the whereabouts of a ghoul. These are actions made illegal under Article 119 of the Ghoul Countermeasure Arc. By the way, the most severe punishment leviable under the law is death. Damn, that's insane. But you know what, like, kind of, like, ticks me off? It's like, who kind of, like, suspected her of being a ghoul? Was it uh, Sasaki that was like, yo, um, maybe Tatsuki Sen is a ghoul? Like, how did they get that tip, you know? Because it's Furuta and Sasaki, the ones that are, like, investigating this. So, like, clearly, we know this, that Sasaki knows that Eto Tatsuki Sen is a ghoul. Like, there's no doubt about that. Like, he knows. But the fact that he's asking this guy, like, he's, she's suspected of being a ghoul, like, kind of, like, like, it leaves me wondering, like, what is Sasaki doing? Like, what is, what what are his motives, you know? Like, why is he doing this right now? Like, is he trying to trick, trick Furuta? Is he trying to trick the CCG? Like, what's the point? I don't know. Alright, so anyways, this guy goes, D death? Where is Miss Tatsuki? Uh, or when, when will she be returning? I don't know. I really don't. She often just up and takes off without what? Whoa, okay, what the hell? Did he just like kick the shit out of the like? What did he kick? The chair? Yo, oh, he kicked that table. God damn, yo, look at 
freaking Sasaki doing this uh, bad cop, good cop act all by himself. At first he was nice, and now he's just bad copying it up. Tisk, my apologies. I need to take a break. I, sh I shall return shortly. Did he just... That young one, he freaks me out. Things aren't looking very promising, I see. It may well be that he doesn't have any. How are things on your end? Well, who's he talking to? Is he talking to Furuta? Yeah, he's talking to Furuta. It's going to take some time. Half read books, labels, memos, plenty of important and even more completely unimportant stuff here. At the very least, it's clear that this guy's trouble and that he's an utter slob. Okay, so they're in the editor's house. I wonder if the editor knows. Like, do you think the editor is a ghoul too and he's part of our giddy tree? And he's like working closely with Eto because like... If you think about it, Eto, like, she's a big ghoul. Like, she's a big deal. You would think that she'd want to work with, like, people that she trusts. And I don't really see Eto as someone that would trust humans. But nevertheless, let's go on. Continue searching the room, please. I, for one, am almost certain Tatsuki and the one-eyed owl are one and the same. Okay, so he's saying that to Furuta. Which we know he's almost certain they're one and the same. And I'm pretty sure Furuta knows that too, because he's a clown. So it's like, what's going on here? After a while, he was alive. Kijima often told me that you, Furuta, were exceptionally talented at keeping documents and forms in order. Well, I guess you could say that. That's the only thing I'm talented at. Pfft. Psych, this man is talented at being a freaking deceptive bastard and stabbing people in the eyeballs. Like, <laughs> One more thing. See that it, see to see to it that the furnishing in the investigator's room are replaced. Yes, sir. Did something happen? A small game of good cap, bad cop. <laughs> see, yeah, you know, they even said it. The good cop, bad cop act. I'm not sure I follow. I'm going to have to ask you to be the good cop, Furuta. Oh, forgive me, yo, Kaneki or Sasaki already made himself out to be the bad cop. It's fine. Truth be told, I really am a kid. Adults give me the creeps. Can't stand them. Tat. Taksuki, don't think for a second I'm going to let you get away. Is that, that so? That's Sasaki thinking right now. Okay, so Sasaki wants her, that not not like that, or maybe like that. I don't know, <laughs> but it's weird. Nevertheless, yo, look, we got like, wow, okay, look at this meeting, dude. We got a ton of high brass here. This is crazy. Okay, yo, wow, There's a lot of people we've seen before. Nevertheless. At long last, our battle with Aogiri Tree appears to be approaching its end. And here we have Washu, the bureau chief. He's a motherfucker. A 13 year long battle it has been, if we consider it to have begun with our clashes with the one-eyed owl, which I guess they're referring to um, uh, Gramps from Antigu. Um, wow. Kuzin. There we go. I couldn't remember his name for a second. Special class investigator conference. We got Itsuki Maru. The Maru. I can't say his name, but <laughs> yeah. Remember when Juzo crashed his bike? That was one of the funniest moments ever. And at most, an integral figure in the battle appears yet again to be absent. Who are they talking about? They're, I think they're talking about Arima. It's a shame he certainly is a very important person. And then we have Kyoko Ara. Squad S3 has been working itself, working tirelessly late of lately. Shinami Haisaki. Who's Haisaki? A former interrogator makes good use of his abilities as the current master and warden of the prison of Coachella. Under his command, Co Coachella is more impregnable than his. Okay. Oh, so he's the prison chief. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then we have Mugen Takanamaru. He's the branch office chief. But as they say, tireless work soon becomes careless. Mugen is there for the second ward. It is often said a veteran special class as a famed branch office chief. In addition to his investigation duties, he has organized multiple recreational events, including the CCG Dandy Contest and the Interward Baseball Classic. That's actually kind of funny. Um, Kori Ui, uh, CCG Division 1 S1 squad. So that's part of Arima's squad. I'm pretty sure S1 is Arima's squad. The young hope that cares that carries on the teaching of Kiyoshi Arima. Skilled enough to succeed him, it was long hoped that he would, but in the recent Roswell operation, he suffered several blows, including the loss of a skilled subordinate and the escape of the head of the Tsukishima family himself. 
Tsukiyama family. That's why we've arranged a substitution to stand in his steed. So who's the one standing in his steed? In his steed? Which I, I guess that would be him, right? Um, then we have Hoji. Uh, Suzia, your candy. Okay. I'm not going to read all of this. Then we got Juzo. And we have Sasaki. And then it says close out. Oh, damn it. I went to the next page on accident. Whatever. That, that's just way too much to read at that moment in time. Okay, for clarity's sake, can someone tell me why Associate Special Class Sasaki is sitting here? Wow, okay. No chill, this guy does not give a fuck. He's just gonna be a dick. Yo, Washu, what the fuck? I'm here as special- Okay, so Sasaki's the substitute. I'm here as Special Class Arima substitute, like they were saying. I've received permission from the Bureau Chief as well. Do me a favor and wipe that creepy smile off your face. Gotta agree with him. That's a pretty creepy smile, <laughs> but he doesn't have to be that much of a dick about it. Come now, Matsuri boy. No need to scold the poor child. It's not as if we ever had an associate special at class attend this conference. I wouldn't know. I was in Germany. Anyway, to the report. As you are undoubtedly aware, our attacks have put Algiri Tree on the path to decay. We must make the most of this opportunity to weaken their fighting strength as much as possible. Yo, shout out to Sasaki being like a man and like talking to these people out loud like he's taking some control yo he's out here with the big dogs two points are crucial in his task in this task one taking down the one-eyed king two striking at their stronghold if we are to accomplish these two objectives we have a good chance at eradicating algiri tree completely you see this like image of like a skull with like a a crown and like a bottom part of a of a headpiece it's pretty weird I guess that's for like the one-eyed king, like symbolism. Nevertheless, um, he, now we have Furuta investigating this guy in this panel. With regards to point one, already I already have my personnel, my personnel from my squad attending the task. Would you like some katsu, Don? Well, okay, so he's just talking about how like they're working on the editor, getting information on him from him. As this person most likely wields significant social power, we have been conducting conducting this aspect of an investigation with as few as possible. I believe you can leave this task to us. And as for point two, there have been many eyewitness reports of members of a strange organization gathering on a certain uninhabited island in Tokyo Bay. An investigation team has been dispatched and is currently searching the island and surrounding the area. That's actually pretty curious. Do you think Algidi is actually like hiding out in an in an island? Yo, look at all these ghouls. Holy shit. Alright, wait, let's read this. This place is called Ru Island. During the war, the island was fortified for use as a base from which the capital could be defended. Okay, so we got Tar Tatara. He's rank SS. We know this. He's a he's relative of the formal head of the Chi Shi Lin, a Chinese ghoul. Wow, I didn't know he was Chinese. And then we have yo. So he's SS, but Eto is only S. I think that's because they haven't made the correlation that Eto and the One-Eyed Ghoul are the same person. Because the One-Eyed Ghoul is like, I think it's triple S. I'm not exactly sure. Um, Yeah, look, it says, an Algidi tree executive, her true power is yet shrouded in mystery. So they don't know. Then we have Shiko Rei, was being held in Coachella, but broke out as a result of Algidi raid. We have Hakutari, stepsister of the Bin Brothers. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. And to, has to be knowledgeable in the use of the Queen case. Shosei, a member of the White Suits during the age of Jason's leadership, was defeated by Naki and added to the group. We have Naki, who is S. Um, we have Torso. Hoguro, member of the White Suits as well. That's interesting, dude. Um, our highest priority target is the Chinese ghoul Tartar, the remnant member of the Chi Shi Lian. So he's the last member of, I guess, that, like, organization. Then we have Rabbit, which is um, Toka's brother. We have Sado, who's just called Owl, who's just insane. And we have Three Blade Misa. Interesting. Interesting. I've gathered data on the primary executives and members here. The strength of the White Suits is, is as strong as it's ever been. The existence of the one-eyed owl, one-eyed ghoul owl, is also becoming difficult to ignore. Yeah, so they also Algidi Tree's got some heavy hitters too, but to be honest, I feel like the CCG has them outclassed. 
Yo, but you know what? Whatever happened to that one guy, the Asian guy, that just beat the shit out of Kaneki, like, at one point? Like, whatever happened to that guy? Like, he just totally disappeared off the face of the earth. Like, they introduced him to us, like, as someone important, and they kind of mentioned him during the, uh, Tsukiyuma arc, but they really haven't mentioned him again. I guess he's not working with Algidi, or the CCG doesn't know that he's working with Algidi. I don't know. Let's continue. As for how to terminate him, Special Class Hoji, who played a large role in the extermination of the Chishi Lian, should be able to provide us with guidance. Oh, dude, it all makes sense now. Do you remember when Hoji went to Coachella when Algidi did the raid? And this guy was talking to him like, oh, you have my you have my friend, like as a as a Queen K. I guess that would that had to be someone else from that Chishi Lian clan. I could be wrong though. I don't know. Don't listen to me. If Rue Island is indeed Algidi's base of operations, it may well become the site of our final showdown with them. Rue Island, huh? In my younger days, my father and I used to ignore the no entry signs there and go bathing in the sea. <laughs> Why would you do that? What the heck? The fact that we're able to take down Noro during the World's Wall operation is something of a silver lining to that cloud. Because we ended up letting Tsukiyama get away, the merit in that operation lies mostly in the death of Noro, wouldn't you say? Damn, this guy just said nope. It's like, nope. No one gives a fuck. He said, fuck you, you're a little bitch. Okay, <laughs> he didn't say that, but that's what I wish he would have said to him, because Wash was a total dick. The Tsukiyuma co conglomerate has been dissolved, and has been replaced by a clean consortium of companies led by humans. I'd say there are plenty enough value in that alone. I think the entire operation, however, in May had turned out, turned out had merit. Bureau Chief, do you mean to say that the defeat of Noro isn't worthy of mention? I for one believe that the elimination of high danger threats is quite important, but I wonder if it's your place to selfishly and arbitrarily determine the worth of operations yourself, Special Class. Yo, why is this guy always trying to fight with somebody? He's so sassy. Which squad is seeing to the ruins investigation? Oh? Ooh, I wonder what squad is doing that. Is it going to be Sasaki? Is he going to take that? That would be... The Hachikawa squad. Oh, okay. Up and down. Up and down. Chu Hachikawa. Associate special class. Hachikawa squad leader. I, have we seen this guy before? I feel like we've seen this guy before. I just don't remember him. Ayuma. Yo, why does she look like she's got a broom on her head? What the heck? Try not to get my case wet. It'll rust and become useless. Ayuma Hogi, first class invades investigator, squad vice chief. Whew. If this is where those Aurugi fools lay their heads at night, they're probably salty as shit. This place smells like seaweed and crap. Yo, this guy's got a foul mouth. All right, looks like everyone made it ashore. Our job here is to try and catch a glimpse of those bastards sleeping. The moment we get it, we book it. I'm counting on you. Your nose works properly, doesn't who's doesn't it? Who's he talking to? Who's whose nose works properly? Oh, right one patch kid. Yo, Mutsuki. Out here. The one eye with the eye patch, yo. Usually people call me one eye. Same difference. Yo, and then here we have Torso. Yo, is he looking for Mutsuki still? I, that's Torso, right? I'm pretty sure that's Torso. Yo, what? And isn't that building right there where they live? I'm not sure. What is the secret of Rue Island? CCG closes in quietly. The day of the showdown is not far. Yo, so we're going to have like a legitimate Algidi tree versus CCG showdown. That's going to be insane. And I'm curious to see like what Sasaki's motives are. Like, I really don't know what his motives are. Like, he's looking for Eto, right? But at the same time, he let Eto escape. So why is he re-looking for her? And why hasn't he, like, said himself, like, yo, Hatsuki-sen is Eto. Like, there's no doubt about it. He's looking for, like, more evidence. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But, um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I definitely have been enjoying it. Um, if you guys have been enjoying this as well, be sure to hit that like button. Um, let me know if I missed anything in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it because... Sometimes it's hard to understand these things and, you know, it's easy to miss stuff in Tokyo Ghoul if you're not, like, reading the chapters over and over again. 
But this was my first reaction, my first impression. So I hope you guys like that. And I guess I'll see you guys next week for another chapter of Tokyo Ghoul Re. It should be a good one, dude. Just thinking about Algidi Tree and CCG going at each other. That's going to be epic. Like, no doubt that's going to be amazing. I cannot wait for that. And I guess I'll see you in some of my other videos. And as always, uh, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.